Ten Tours is an amazing event. It requires 2,400 people to go out there and take the challenge of walking 10 tours on routes of 35, 45 or 55 miles, totally self-sufficient. And when I say 35, 45 and 55, they're actually going 10, 20% further because the raven that flies on Dartmoor flies in straight lines, but the participants have got to go round all the many obstacles that exist. When I'm walking on Dartmoor, I like the weather conditions to be calm, a little bit of wind just to keep me cool, not too sunny because I don't want sunburnt shoulders, not too bright. I certainly don't want the rain and I most certainly don't want the snow, but finding that ideal on Dartmoor will only happen on the rarest of days. We've had some really difficult years where the rain has come down with such ferocity that the river's swollen that we had to evacuate everybody from the moor. We've also had times when the wind has blown and the checkpoints were unable to function. The only injury, however, was a six-foot flying table hitting a member of staff. We've also had the times, though, when the sun has been wonderful and bright. But those aren't the ideal conditions. Dehydration is a risk to be looked out for and, of course, sunburn is not very clever when you're trying to carry a pack as well on your burnt shoulders. The teenagers who are taking part in Ten Tours will start their training back in the autumn of the preceding year. They'll be out there learning how to camp, how to carry out first aid, map reading, navigation and they're looking for pleasant weather conditions. Before they go out, like every walker in the wild country, such as Dartmoor, they want to know what they're going to wear, what they're going to carry. Is it going to be hot? Is it going to be cold? That weather forecast is really important. And then when they start moving out into the wilds of Dartmoor, then it really becomes very important, not just to know it in advance, but also to be able to understand the changes for example, if the wind is from the southwest, chances are that America and the whole of the Atlantic is going to dump on here on Dartmoor. On the other hand, if it's coming from the northeast, we know it's going to be a cold wind and it's going to be dry and we have a heightened risk of wildfires. We rely heavily on the Met Office's weather forecasts to deal with the unpredictability of the weather here. There are so many changes, four seasons in one day. Who knows what it's going to bring? It's a mist in the morning, it's a snow by lunchtime, it's rain in the afternoon, and then the evening, with luck, there might be some sun. Knowing what the weather brings and looking that up on the website is really important to us and all of those teenagers who've accepted the ch challenge of 10 tours.